Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jimin Tamang and in this video guys, we're going to be reacting to this video called BL Couples That We Might Never See Again. So let's go. Uh, it, the, in the thumbnail there is Om Nenon. I'm not really sure, but I'm, why? But maybe they had a fallout or something. We don't know. But for that guys, I'd like to plug in my Patreon. You guys should check out my Patreon because in Patreon I'm doing a lot of exclusive BL shows that I'm not reacting to on YouTube. The current shows that I'm doing there are... No, I love Tractor, there is an intentional love story, there is Naked Dining, there is Laws of Attraction, uncut version, uh, there is a Feel a Linger in the Air and over 9200 exclusive BL shows, so go check that out, link in the description below. Now that is delay, guys, let's just get this reaction. The longest time, in this new episode, we will be adding some on-screen BL couples we think we will no longer see in the next BL dramas. Before that, some of the BLs to ex- Tybee, let's get started. First on our list, Bright and Wynn. A couple of days ago, Bright announced his departure on his former company, GMM TV, to embark on a new journey, but this time, on his own. He added that he will be establishing his own entertainment company as part of his growth as an artist. Because of this, fans of Bright Wynn were shocked when they heard Yeah, it's sad that, you know, after such enormous success of Together the Series, they didn't come out for any other series like that. It's sad, they should have. They went on to play on many straight, straight series, which I kind of have mixed feelings for. I mean, I do believe that they should, you know, like try on, but then just the fact that, you know, they just gained almost all of their popularity from a BL series and then to never work on a BL series after that, it's just a little bit, you know, like icky, icky for me. I I'm not saying they should just be stick to the BL series, that's not what I'm saying, but you know. It's just because something that feels off to me whenever that happens. BL so. Brighton Wynn might never come to fruition. Brighton Wynn starred as an on screen BL couple in Together and Still Together the series back in 2020 and got a huge following after the yeah, shows. Yeah, it was after the this show. Two international superstars and a lot of fans expressed their admirations for the on screen couple. Following the huge commercial success of Together and Still Together, Brighton Wynn acted on different series but never as an on screen couple again. With Bright leaving GMM TV, there's still a chance that both actors could still work as an on-screen BL couple, but chances are extremely low since the company is known for prioritizing their own talents and actors. Time we saw Jaren first acted as an on-screen BL couple was in Farm Type Season 2 back in 2020. Wait, aren't they in Be My Superstar or something like that? BL shows, namely, Close Friends. Don't say no, remember? Yeah. And their latest ongoing BL drama. So Be after that, they're not star, working together? They already have solid fan bases internationally, so it's quite tough for their fans when Jar didn't renew his artist contract with Triple Eight Entertainment, the company who managed him and his works for a couple of years already. There's a lot of possibilities. What could this mean to the on screen couple? But one of those is we could no longer see them in future BL shows. Be Mine Superstar might be their final act as on screen couple, but only time could tell what would happen to their ship. They've done a lot of series, unlike Brightwind. Number three. Day one. This this, this one is a little tricky. BL couple might be one of yeah, very controversial. In the last few months, due to fans' speculations about their real life feud, which can be seen during their interviews and some activities. Yeah, we literally saw it's not kind of a fight. Whether the two really had a feud or they just prefer not to do any fan service currently in order not to affect their current shows and films. This could also be a hint that both of them would no longer do any series anymore wherein both of them would act as a couple and the special episodes of Bad Buddy could be the last. Are there going to be special episodes for Bad Buddy? I didn't know that. That's it. Number 4, Max and Tool. Why? Does the Kings of BL. Max and Tool could be one of the on-screen couples we might never Why, why, why? I never, reasons. like, it's been quite some time. After Manner of Death, I don't think we've seen them together. His Instagram account about his graduation on real estate development and how he is grateful for his acting career for the past nine years. Tool also added in his post that even though his career path has changed or shifted, the passion that he felt during the shows he had done in the past still ignites him to fuel his drive for success in this new chapter. Wait. On the other hand, Max shared on his previous birthday fan meet that he has been diagnosed with depression and he is currently on what? medication. 
He also got the surgery where three tumors were removed from his intestine. Oh my god. As we want to see them together again in a new BL drama, the chances are quite low considering that Tool has shifted his career path and Max is on his way to recover. That is more understandable. Of that, the two are still best friends in real life and that's more important. Bad romance I've not seen. I've seen together with me. I've seen together with... I've not seen together with me season 2, I guess. Or have I? They was together with me Number season five. 2? Oh yeah, this one. He's already in their base one, so he cannot do that anymore. But it's unlikely to see them again as an on-screen couple in a future BL series. Following the debut of Jiwoon in ZB1 as one of the official members, it's quite safe to say that he won't do any BL in the near future due to his busy schedule, or possibly even due to the K-Net backlash. Yeah, that's true. Although we've seen them in two BL shows already. I've only I seen one. Seen one. On Roommates of Pungda. Of their electrifying chemistry. Anyway, I wish that both actors would be successful on their chosen careers. Roommates of Pungda have reacted to it on my Patreon. Together with me also. So yeah, Kissable Leaps. I've not watched it. Number 6, Mike and Top Tap. This is probably one of the most obvious pairings in this lineup that we will never see again and it's actually a hurtful one. Mike and Top Tap became an on-screen BL together couple the when they starred in together the series in 2020. Cute. Their dynamics were definitely eye-catching because of the character. He's left the, the company, company, right? That's why. The two also got another BL called Ton and Chon Lati as a side couple again, but that was the last time we've seen them together in a series as a BL couple. Back in 2021, there were rumors about their personal feud, but the two remained mum on the situation. It's not clear whether the two reconciled before Top Tap left GMMTV last December. They're not there and still together? I guess they were. Number 7. Plume and Chimam. Wait, GMMTV they were in a BL couple? Perth and Chimam in their latest BL series Dangerous Romance. It's also official that Plume and Chimmon won't get any other BL in, in which future. show were they together? So the I've not seen it. For the last couple of years. Obviously, we don't know the reason why GMMTV didn't give any other in which BL show they were? for the two since Edge of 17 back in 2017. Oh my god, 2017, I've seen him in that show. Oh. That show, the Friends one. Uh safe zone or some friend zone friend zone friend zone uh, friend zone season two i guess he was in there i watched that I reacted to it on my patreon Featured so a yeah a couple of times on some projects of the company the pairing was probably not as profitable as the other on-screen couples they had produced and sadly we won't know the reason for sure as of now the two are still friends with each other but their interactions might lessen due to perth and chillin's new series and to attract new fans which one is the last one, or is it done? Unlike in any other countries, Thai BLs are usually starred by the same on-screen couples due to their huge fan bases and it becomes a habit ever since. Although some of the mentioned former on-screen couples are still friends, it's quite sad to know that some of them are no longer friends in real life due to personal issues or because of excessive fan service that leads to misunderstanding between two parties. Which of these BL couples do you miss already? Thank you for watching. That's I like Max Stoll. Max Stoll is the one which felt the most genuine one. Most of the times I do not fall for ships. You know, ships, I watch the videos, but that's it, you know. I d it does not get crazy in my head. I'm not like, oh my god, and all of that. I'm not like that, honestly. Uh, but Max Stoll, I could really see the genuine connection between them two, and I miss them. I would miss them. I mean, not together as lovers or anything, but, you know, just them working together. They had an amazing chemistry. So, guys, that'll be it for this video. Let me know what you feel about this, and uh, recommend me more videos like this so I can react to it, and I'll meet you guys in the next reaction video.